Okay, independent client of Mr. Anderson. Uh, this is a built-in fireplace uh, area, um, TV console area, that kind of thing. Um, this was just a blank wall when we started, and uh, the customer had an idea of having uh, flanked left and right hand areas to, for storage, and then having some countertop space, and then ultimately a television space and area above that. Um, this is an intermediate video just to show the stages where we're at. Uh, we actually have all of the moldings and stuff done here. All the cabinets are installed, all the scribe moldings on the sides. Uh, the tops are put in. They have access to, to power through the top of it. Uh, down here on the left-hand side, put a restrictor clip on this one. And if you look, we have an access door there uh, for to be able to get into that. And then I also put another service port back there to pull wires through. Uh, this is where they're going to be putting their TV components and that kind of thing. Um, fireplace insert has uh, non-combustible surfaces all around it. Uh, and as far as that goes, the fill-in here will be with some more half-inch um, Probably the uh, Dura Rock or underlayment board uh, will be on the face of it. Now the uh, left-hand side, the same thing. Got all the cabinets in, all the moldings, all the quarter rounds are in, top pieces are in, uh, and then we got all of our scribes and stuff up against the box. So, a couple things on this piece here that I need to make sure I tell. Oh yeah, you got your fire on. Yeah, got the fire on. It's working. Looking forward to all that. Um, so here on the top of this, um, I took a picture. I'll insert it later, but I wanted to show you. I did not glue this down. I do not have anything to set the countertop on here on the back. Uh, so I only have three sides of support. So when we come back to do the rest of these boards and stuff, uh, this piece is gonna need to be pulled forward where you can actually access uh, where the board needs to be screwed to the wall. We did note too, see the shim thickness? We did note that the uh, actual thing was pitched backwards just a little bit. Uh, and so from the front, it was actually sewing a gap. So we want to get this thing all sorted before we actually do our tile work and our finished grout in the front, uh, just to make sure we have a fairly reasonable level. Uh, it was touching right bubble on this one. It wasn't past bubble, but it was touching right bubble. So just about a about three sixteenths or a quarter inch in the back is what it needed. Top is though completed. It's got rounded edges, finished corners. Everything's everything's ready about it. Uh, so I thought this might be better for you too, as far as when you pull this forward to be able to get your boards and stuff all in there and then just be able to set the stone back against it and square it up uh, before you do the tile on the front. Otherwise, really good shape. Everything is working. Uh, we do need to put the boards in here and then actually do the crown molding around the top. Uh, hang on just a second. Okay, back to this. I'm in the garage. There's your uh, 642 filler if you need some material for it. Here I've got an extra piece of quarter round if you need something. And I've got the full piece of 10 foot long um, materials for the, uh, uh, for the top molding, crown molding accent strip. And right here, I've got a touch up kit uh, to go with them. So all the materials are here in the garage uh, to use to finish up the overhead part of that, uh, where that piece of molding goes around the top. Okay, back to this point, And uh, I think that's pretty much a wrap up for this. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know. Like I said, some painted materials here, wrapped. Um, pull that plug and stuff through. Pull some wires and do your mounting for your television. And, buddy, you're going to be good to go. That piece of molding at the top, and uh, we should be in good shape. Have any questions, feel free to give me a call. 423-650-1051. Have a good day.